Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a very, very exciting foundation wear test and review. I have been so excited to do this foundation review ever since the products came out. I'm going to be doing a review of the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation. I am so, so excited to do this review because I've always wanted to try this foundation when the foundation came out and I saw the reviews I was like ooh, I want to try that out and I got the opportunity to even get this foundation for free from Beauty Frenzy shout out to Beauty Frenzy thank you so much for supporting me and for gifting me this foundation she had a couple of foundations that were in her shade so she was giving them out and she gave this one to me she also gave me three bottles of the makeup revolution foundation which is right there so I'm gonna also be doing a review on that when it comes to Juvia's place and the way they've been involved in a bit of drama especially the drama involving Jackie because of the drama and because of the way they treated Jackie I feel so somehow reviewing this product and even using their eyeshadow palettes as well I mean on one hand they treated a creator that I love and I'm inspired by really badly from what I see and then they also have good products and I don't know it's just like up and down like I want to try this brand's products I want to use their products I want to support them but they also treated Jackie Aina badly so I'm just like what do I do so right now I'm just like a bit torn but I'm still gonna do it but I want to put this out there that I am torn it's not like I'm ignoring the drama it's not like I don't care I am torn but as a content creator as a youtuber your job is to create content and if I see something that I can use to create content, I will create content. I do have morals, I do have standards and stuff, I just feel like this is one of those times that I'm allowed to use the product. Does that make sense? I don't know. I hope that makes sense and I hope it's not misconstrued. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Before I begin with today's video, please do me a huge, huge favor and subscribe to my channel. I would love for you all to join the DLI Davy family here on YouTube. So please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos. Also, so that you don't miss out on any videos, make sure you click on the notification bell so that you always get notifications of whenever I upload a new video, which is usually Thursdays and Sundays. Sometimes I throw in an extra Tuesday upload depending on my life depending on my day without wasting any more of your time let's get started with today's video today's review is going to be on the Juvia's Place I am magic velvet matte foundation it comes in this box um, with the design and everything on the side it has like a description ingredients on the back where it was made directions on how to use this foundation is 30 ml one fluid ounce which is a standard size for foundations let me read out the description that they have here i am magic radiant long lasting creamy and comfortable our second skin creamy foundation offers a smooth application with a soft natural and soft matte finish to give flawless coverage a great formula to even out the complexion refine skin texture and erase blemishes maintaining the initial finish throughout the day suitable for all skin types including sensitive and oily skin the foundation comes like this it's in a little tube container like this i like this you guys know how much i like pumps pumps foundations are my favorite this means i'm just gonna have to like be squeezing out and i hope i don't squeeze out too much i'm able to measure foundation in pumps like okay i need three pumps for a full face i need four pumps for a full face but with this you're just like squeezing it and if you squeeze too much if you squeeze too little you know it's kind of up and down so I decided that before I really get into putting the foundation on my face that I would swatch this foundation with my current um, favorites all right so we're gonna be swatching on my chest the first foundation I'm gonna swatch is the Clinique even better so this is the Clinique even better foundation this is in the shade clove Next, I'm going to swatch Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Pecan. Pecan is a little redder than what I'm used to and what I use. So if you notice, it's a bit red. It's, I know, I know it's red. Last but not the least, and one of my favorites, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Just gonna take a little bit of it because I don't want to waste my baby. Swatch right here. This is the Clinique Even Better Foundation in the shade Clove. This is Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Pecan. And this is MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW48. As you can, you can see why I really like NW48. It really matches my chest and it does a great job of evening out my skin tone. Now we are about to swatch this bad boy. This is the shade Gabon. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks much warmer than my other foundations 
but not too warm. It looks almost like a sister to clove. All right, so I've already done my skincare, I've done my brows, I've done my eyes off camera. Let's get into this foundation. First, I'm gonna prime my skin with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, smoothing out my skin. I like to apply this foundation in places that I know I get rough texture. So it can help me smoothen out that texture. Let's apply this bad boy. I don't have a sponge. The sponge I have has like died. That's part of the things I need to buy. But now we're gonna be using a brush for this review. I apologize. So I'm gonna take, uh, I don't know how much I'll take, but like maybe this amount. I'll first start with this before I add more just to see how thick and how it blends and everything. So that small little goop of foundation, I've used it on only the bottom half of my face and I think that's given me some good coverage so far. It blends very, very nicely into the skin. That is one thing you have to know, like the way it just blended out and I, have, I didn't have to do so much. Yeah, a little bit of this foundation goes a long way and it looks good on my skin. It doesn't look too warm, it doesn't look too yellow. I think we have a good match. You can see how it matches with my neck. I did bring it down a bit, but you can see that it still marries well together with my actual shade. I really like how this foundation feels on my skin, like the way it just blended. So I'm adding just a little more, just so that I can add a little more coverage and do my forehead. I wanna add a little more foundation so I know how this layers on skin. I wanna know if it's one of those foundations that you can layer well. This is what the foundation looks like on my skin. I think it does a great job of covering up all my blemishes and acne scars. It's so nice and smooth on my skin. Like it's incredible how my skin looks so nice and radiant and not too radiant. It's like, again, a very soft matte finish. It layers very well. It doesn't like crumple up or it doesn't break apart. It's not clinging to any of my dark patches under my eyes. I really like the formula of this foundation. The formula is really, really nice. All right, so this is what the foundation looks like on my skin when we zoom out. I think it's a good match. I think it's a good match. A little bit lighter and a little bit more yellow. It blended out really nicely. I have no complaints at all. I, I wish I had something bad to say. It looks very radiant, very healthy. It looks like skin. This foundation looks like my skin. Let me go upstairs and finish up my makeup, concealer, highlight, you know, all that jazz. And then I'll be back to give you guys my initial thoughts and I'll tell you guys about how it worked with other products. All right guys, so I am back and I have to say I am very, very impressed with this foundation and the way the foundation worked well with other products. It didn't break up, it didn't get dry, it didn't get patchy. It literally just worked. Like. This foundation makes my skin look so beautiful. It's matte but radiant at the same time. I'm very impressed with the formula. I'm very, very impressed. I might get another shade because of the color, but I found that using my regular Fit Me powder really set the product well and made it look more like my skin tone. I have nothing bad to say about this product. I really love the way this foundation looks on my skin. So I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see my skin up close. It's matte, a very nice natural matte finish it also has this radiance that comes with it but it's not too radiant did a great job at covering up all my acne scars i am very very impressed with this product i will not lie i was looking for something to hate just so that this review would have something but i i don't have anything to hate about this product like can you guys look at my skin? It is currently 11.57 right now. I put on this foundation around 11.30, so I've only had this foundation on for about, not even up to 30 minutes, of like about 20, 25 minutes. I have two errands I have to run. I have to go to the mainland to go drop something off. Then I want to go and see Banky in her office. I haven't seen her in a while. When I come back from running those errands, I'll come and give you guys a check-in to see how the foundation looks. I won't blot my face because I want to know how much oil is gonna come through and I wanna be able to show you how much oil comes through with this foundation hi guys what's up I'm back and wow I've had <laughs> I've had a I've had a really interesting past couple of hours I was involved in a car accident but that's not why you guys are here I'm great I'm glad I dropped the car off to get fixed 
and now I'm here to continue this review. It is currently 2.15 right now, so that means I've had the foundation on for about 2 hours 30 minutes, and this is what my face looks like right now. I am very impressed by the way the foundation is holding up. With the car accident, I had to go to the mechanic and drop the car off, and then I had to walk back in the sun. It's really, really hot right now, like it's sunny outside and this foundation is still doing its thing as usual I'm shiny here because that's where I always get shiny if I had put on powder before I put on my foundation I wouldn't be shiny right here but I didn't do that because I wanted to let you guys see how my face wore without doing any extra tips or you know any of that extra extra stuff so i zoomed you guys in so you guys can see what the face looks like i think it's doing a pretty good job holding up really really well my skin looks like skin i really like the way this foundation looks on my skin it looks very very nice i was worried that gabon would be a little too light with the way it's swatched against my other foundations but I think it's it's good. So that is how the foundation is holding up. I'm very impressed so far. I am gonna eat, drink some vodka because my soul needs some vodka. I need to like cool down and calm down. Then um, I will check in before I go out because I'm supposed to go out this evening but with this whole car thing, I'm not sure it's gonna happen anymore. I'll do a check in where I blot before I go out because I'm definitely not gonna go out with a shiny, with a shiny like this. So when I check in, I'm gonna blot, and you guys will see how my face looks once I blot. Once I blot, and then I will do my final check in and my final review when I come back from whatever shenanigans I'm going to get up to. Hey guys, so I'm back, and this is my check in before I head out of the house. So my skin still looks good. I'm still shiny here. It did transfer off a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but there's a line there where there's no more foundation. And I think that was because I was on the phone a lot. So I just kept on calling people and I think it rubbed off the foundation. I didn't even realize it until I was looking back at the footage. And also, I changed my shirt because the foundation actually stained around there, but I didn't actually know. Anyway, I'm going to be fixing my face and blotting with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm going to use this to blots all the oily parts i'm gonna take a little bit up here and here that is all i needed to really do to fix this face just a little blotting and that's it i'm gonna wear lipstick i'm gonna wear a darker lip today i really love this shade of lipstick i wore this yesterday and now i'm wearing it again i don't know if anyone from clinique international clinique nigeria is out there but i would love 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 to work with your brand i love your brand i love the ethos i love the lipsticks i love everything so all i had to do was blot and that is it my skin is still looking good this is a close-up of my skin right now i think i'm good to go guys what do you think i really like the way this foundation looks like it's a it's 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 a banger for me i really like it all right guys so i'm heading out of the house right now the next check-in you guys will see will be when i come back at the end of the day I'm really glad and happy with this foundation. I highly recommend it to people. I have already gone on the website and put in a darker shade of this foundation, like literally one shade darker. And I did add the concealer to my cart. So I will be doing in a couple of, maybe a couple of weeks, another review, if you guys want, of this foundation in a darker shade and of the concealer. But as far as I'm concerned, this foundation is a go it is thumbs up from me thank you guys so so much for watching i'm gonna include a picture of flash photography here thank you guys so much for watching this video i really really appreciate it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel and do not forget to be awesome i'll see you guys in my next video bye